grade 11s, hello. I hope you're having a great day. Guys, you are over halfway done summer semester. Great job. Keep up the great work. Uh, there was some clarification needed on yesterday's task on uh, figurative language. You were asked to look at two different short stories and to fill out two figurative language charts. Few people had questions about why the chart was numbered one through five. That simply was a reminder that I was looking for five different entries on the chart. So for instance, maybe you found five different literary devices or uh, maybe you found a combination of sensory description, uh, dialogue, uh, strategic word choice, etc. But I was just trying to remind you that uh, there were, I was looking for five different entries. There were also some questions about how to explain the effect that a figurative language choice had on the um, piece. So what I was asking you to do was to explain to me why do you think the author chose to use this particular uh, strategy for figurative language. Um, what I was looking for here is, for instance, let's say you noticed that a simile was used. What I was asking you is, why do you think the author chose to use a simile in this situation? So for instance, if the simile was, he shone as brightly as the sun, then what I was looking for you to do in the chart is explain to me, why do you think the author chose to use the simile here? Why not just state in literal language, he, sh he was very shiny, he or he shone brightly? Why do you think instead the author chose to use the simile and to use figurative language in this situation? So there's not really a right answer that I'm looking for. I'm looking for your interpretation of why you think the author chose to use that instance of figurative language and what impact you feel it had on the text as a result as the reader of the story. So that's what I'm looking for in that chart. Feel free to go back and make revisions if after hearing this you realize that maybe you didn't fill it out quite correctly. You're welcome to resubmit to uh, the Dropbox that we were provided yesterday. For today's task, we're looking at the big show. We're creating our compare contrast essay, our one essay assignment of the regular semester. Uh, you will also be asked to write an essay on the final exam. So for the compare contrast essay, what you're being asked to do is to either compare and contrast, so find similarities and differences between two characters of one of the short stories we've read this semester, or you could choose two uh, different characters, compare and contrast them from two different stories. So uh, a character from, let's say, Borders, and you could compare and contrast that with a character from, let's say, A Red Girl's Reasoning. So it's up to you whether you want to be comparing and contrasting characters from the same story or from different stories. When you take a look at the assignment today, you'll see that it, uh, there's an organizer that's provided to you. That's gonna be really integral in uh, planning and being successful on this essay. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't really do rough drafts or I don't really do the, pro the uh, planning process. I just jump into my final draft and make sure that um, all my ideas get on the page. That's not really gonna work for this particular assignment because I am asking you to conference with me. So we are gonna discuss your planning materials before you go into the rough draft assignment. It's also important that you use the uh, organizer because the structure for this essay uh, is one that we haven't discussed before. The point evidence analysis paragraphs that we use as the building blocks of our essay are gonna be slightly modified because you are gonna be asked to find evidence that pertains to more than one character. So to make sure that you're applying the structure carefully and properly, please make sure that you are using and filling out the graphic organizer that's provided to you. It really is gonna be your key to success and really carefully outlines exactly what I'm looking for on this task. So when you look at the lesson content for today, you're gonna to see all the steps that are necessary to, fill, to completing this essay assignment. For your task today, I'm just asking you to start tackling steps one and two. So you wanna figure out whether you're going to compare and contrast characters from the same story or from a different story. You're gonna choose what characters you're going to examine and the traits that you believe that these characters have in common or that you find different between them. And then you're gonna start using that information to begin filling out your graphic organizer. Please note that in your essay, uh, you don't have to just find similarities. You don't have to just find differences. Maybe you wanna tell me about one way in which these characters are similar and two ways in which they're different or vice versa. It's completely up to you, but you are not beholden to just finding similarities or just finding differences. 
in the end, we are both comparing and contrasting these characters. So take a look at the lesson content for today. There is quite a bit. So if you have questions that's understandable, let me know what I can do to help clarify this assignment. Remember that for today, the expectation is that you are choosing your topic. You are choosing the characters that you will compare and contrast in your essay. You're brainstorming ways in which they are similar or different. And then you're going to start using that brainstormed information to begin filling out your graphic organizer. I will be providing you with more information to come about how we are going to conference and make sure that you are headed in the right direction with that organizer before you start writing your rough draft. If you have any questions for me about yesterday's task or this one or your progress in the course, please feel free to send me an instant message or an email. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.